back to another studio vlog. It is May 3rd when I start filming this, which means it is 10 more days until the craft show at the fairgrounds. So in this video, you guys are going to see me working with stuff for that. Probably some stuff for Tangier so I can get that done and just some other little things that I want to do. So let's get started. All right, so right now I am working on designing a button pin. It's gonna be a little series of positive affirmation froggies. This first one is a little frog that says, keep on growing, and they have a little flower on top of their head. I just thought this would be a cute little series to do. After I finished up drawing out this little guy, I worked on the other seven designs that will be made into button pins. So now you, as you can see, I am getting all of them formatted to be printed out on a sheet of paper. And then after I finish up this, you see me making the button pins. I really enjoy making button pins. I don't know why they honestly weren't that popular when I sold them at the Redbud Festival, but I just love making them. I don't know. It's so much fun. And I have so many more designs that I want to make. Hello everyone! So it is a new day, which means it is time to make some more art. Also, I apologize for the bird chirping in the background. Can't really do anything about that. But anyways, so today the two things that I need to get done are just two bookmarks for my grandmother. Or at least that's like the biggest thing that I need to just get done because she won't stop bugging me about them. But they won't take me too long, so I'm going to go ahead and knock those out. Yesterday I didn't get a lot done. I mainly just made some button paints which i'll show you guys the finished you know the end result of all of those so let's do that all right so here are all of the finished button pins as well as the small pile of you know ones that got messed up you know didn't come off all the way totally came apart and got all bent and then just peeling and also not very centered so those were the failures but here's all the finished ones so I made more of the little um, like positive affirmation frogs besides the one that I showed you guys drawing. I made, I made some more of the be nice to me, I'll cry. Did the little junk one. I did the milf and dilf frogs. There's not a big one of the milf one. I messed it up twice, probably have to try to do it again. And then for the Dilf ones, like some of the colors, I like changed the colors a little bit and also took away the cactuses because it got cut off. I also made a little cervical cancer awareness bat pin, but I need to adjust the colors for them. And there's, that one also has like a fuzz trapped in it, which I didn't notice, but I'll just keep it for myself. But I had to, like I said, adjust some of the colors for that, and I'll probably make some new ones. But here's all the button pins I got finished yesterday. Still need to make all the backing cards and all that jazz. But like I said, for now, I'm going to make the bookmarks for my grandmother so she can stop bothering me about those. So let's get to doing that. yesterday it was mainly because I was sewing and then towards the end of the day I wasn't feeling too great so I didn't film anything but I decided I'd show you guys plus she said I finished yesterday I finished this little otter with her donut and her little bow and then I finished an everything bagel and then two little oops, two little donuts so one with vanilla frosting one with chocolate frosting you can't really because it's dark but you can't tell you his little face as well and then yesterday i also made backing cards for the pins that i did as well as what else did i do 
maybe that was it oh and then i restarted and then i started drawing another pin which i'll show you guys right now okay so i made backing cards for all the new pins so the positive affirmation frogs milf and dill frogs cervical cancer awareness baby star candy and then i want to do a vampire version of the baby star candy button pin which you can see i started redrawing now obviously have it finished because it's very rough a lot of stuff needs to be done but that's probably something i'll be working on later today maybe i'll just finish him up right now i also need to cover that up didn't notice i made that well making the marks on it whoops but i think i'll do that right now and then i'll sew some more because i have a lot of plushies and i need to get done so let's get to that <laughs> So I finished the little vampire junk hook button pin. So I'm going to need to get this print out. But right now we're going to go on an adventure because I need to check the mail and there's some things I need to get. So let's go check the mail. Okay, everybody, I'm back from the post office and I thought I might as well open up my mail for you guys. Well, I actually already cut everything open. I'll just Show you guys what I got. So this is the only thing that pertains to my business. I got some more business cards printed. The front is the exact same as all of the other or like the ones that I showed in my first studio vlog. The only difference is the back has some more information and these are also again done by cat print. So I included like my name and like a little like cutesy drawing of me and it says just it has my name and then like artist and creator and then it has all of my information so it has my instagram ko-fi tiktok youtube my email address twitter and then facebook even though i have never posted on that but i thought i might as well just add it and start using it because i know there's a lot of people who use facebook so got some new business cards printed and then the other two things are books. Now, when I get books online, I don't use um, thrift books. I use Alibris because I tend to find books like cheaper there as opposed to thrift books. So the first book I got was, it was vulgar and it was beautiful. So it's about how AIDS activists use art to fight the pandemics by Jack Lowry. Um, this book came out, I think, I want to say April 2022 and I thought that it sounded really interesting because the um the AIDS epidemic and then like how art you know kind of the two, combination of the two is really interesting and since there was a book written about it I thought well I'm gonna have to get it and I finally found it for a price that I was willing to pay because a lot of them they were over like 20 bucks and stuff like that and I was like oh, I don't want to pay that much so this one's only like eight dollars or something so got this one and then the other book I got which is actually still wrapped in plastic is the ballad of sexual dependency man golding so basically it's, well let's cut it open but it's basically like a book about like her photography and stuff like that I will not try to ruin the book using or opening it but again, both these came from Alibris. I have another book that I bought from Alibris just because I said it's like more affordable. I got um, I got Batman Under the Red Hood because I really like that story. And again, I found it for a pretty decent price. So I was like, I'm going to get it. So basically, it's just a book of all of her photography. Let me see. I'm excited to look at this. I love photography and stuff like that. My grandfather was actually um, a photographer for decades, like an, an insane amount of time. So I'm excited to look through this. But that's what I got. 
in the mail and now it's time to get to work and I think I'm going to print out the button pins maybe because I have like I said a little vampire junk cook so vampire version of this and then for these the the dilf <laughs> frogs I wanted to film a tiktok for it. and then I filmed it two separate times and like the quality was garbage so I think I might try to do it again for the third time hopefully third time's a charm because I want to do it using that sound on TikTok with like Pedro Pascal you know talking I think y'all know the one so maybe I'll print those out and maybe I'll get the backing cards printed and I also need to print out some more of the positive affirmation frogs because my grandmother took four of them she liked them she paid me for them so I need to reprint the other ones and yeah, I think I want to do that. And then once I get all that done, I'm going to sew. I need to work on more plushies. They were the most popular thing at the Red Blood Festival. And I keep putting it off. But let's do that. So right now I am formatting all of the button card backings um, in order to get them the right shape and size so I can print them out. However, in this next clip, as you can see, I am currently cutting stickers. However... I did print out the backing cards for the button pins like the one I was showing, but I did freebie stickers at the Redbud Festival with my little logo, so I decided to do that again, and it's really nice having this big cricket that my family member gave to me because I can cut more than like three stickers at a time, which is very, very nice. Alright, so here I am trying to film a satisfying peel of the stickers for you guys, but epically failing that bit before I got some very delicious iced coffee and now it is the next day Saturday I believe and I am weeding out vinyl that I've cut the day before to make a tote bag for Tangier and I really enjoy um, weeding vinyl I think it's such a fun little process excuse me, though it can be a very tedious process. As you can see right now, I'm trying to get out all the little bits and pieces. It's such a tedious process. Like I said, I do really enjoy weeding out vinyl. I just think it's a lot of fun. Hello everyone and welcome to my bedroom floor. I'm going to try to iron on this vinyl for this Ducky Momo embroidery hoop as well as the tote bag the Tangier Island tote bag. I'm a little bit nervous about doing this. I feel like I always tend to mess up when ironing one vinyl, but hopefully it all goes well. It's okay. It's all heated up now. So I'm going to try to iron this one. Then I'll be back to show you guys the finished product because I'm not going to film any of this because like I said, I always tend to mess up and I'm going to try to do good today. So I'm going to do that. And then I'll be back. Alright everyone, so I finished up the little tote bag and I think it came out pretty cute if I do say so myself. Also, I ironed on the words for the Ducky Momo embroidery hoop, which I'll go get so I can show you guys right now. Alright, so here is Ducky Momo with the little I hate people ironed one. All I need to do is put it back in the hoop and then like sew on the back so this mess is covered up. And then this will be done. Also here is a bit more of a close-up i guess you could say of the tangier island tote bag which came out pretty cute i did have some issues ironing this on which you know didn't surprise me but it looks pretty good i think now i'm going to finish up the button pins here's some that i've kind of at least roughly cut out so that i can then you know, do the thing where it stamps down. And then I also printed out all of the backing cards. So I'm gonna do that right now. So let's get to work. Oh, also before I forget, here's the bag of finished plushies. I finished two last night. I'll just sit them on this tote bag. Two little sea pancakes, just a plain one with some butter and syrup. And then another one with some fruit, so some banana slices, some strawberries, and little blueberries. So that's what I got done yesterday. So I'm going to do the button pins and put them on the backing cards. So let's go. All right, so I'm just going to 
talk a little bit as I get these button pins cut out. So, first of all, I know my workspace is a hot mess, but honestly, there's nothing I can really do about that. I guess I'm just a messy worker. But I know it'd be like 10 times worse if I was sitting at my desk because I barely have any space there. Right now, I'm gonna cut out another DILF <laughs> frog button pin. This is the last one I am going to do. So I'm gonna try to film that TikTok again. And I swear, if it doesn't come out good, I'm going to cry. No, I'm just kidding. But I will be a bit disappointed because I <laughs> wanted to do it, but I don't know, I filmed it two separate times, and like I said, it came out horribly. I don't know why the quality was so bad, but I'm gonna try to film it again. Hopefully it works this time with this little frog, and also with the trim. I never like, I don't think I pressed down hard enough when I like cut these out. So then I have to like trim it with some scissors. And then I'm also gonna make a bigger, milf frog button pin so this is also another one where i tried making on two separate occasions and for whatever reason it didn't turn out well i have no clue what's going on also i apologize for the bird in the background the that little guy has been chirping for days maybe he's hungry i don't know but i'm pretty annoying <laughs> So this is pretty, working on some stuff for the craft fair is pretty much what I'm going to be doing today or for most of the day. I know I need to go to the store though to get some groceries and I also want a, um, to get some new like bed sheets because for my birthday I wanted a bigger bed. So I got one but then I had to get rid of like all the... Um, the sheets that I had and I want like I just want like a plain like just color that kind of go with anything so I'm gonna get that. I'm cutting out a Spill Coffee Studio button pin. I'm gonna use um I'm making this one just for myself so I can wear it at the craft fair. Let's see if I can get it lined up well. Mm -hmm made it like 10 times worse okay but i'm pretty excited for the craft fair i know it's like a week until it happens you know a week today but it's calling for a 40 percent chance storm so hopefully fingers crossed it does not storm i know that's what happened for red bud festival but it was over pretty quickly so hopefully that will be the case for this show as well and I'm going to finish these little guys up and I'll be back when I'm done so see you later or see you in a little bit all right so I was only able to get like three button pins done because I kept messing up so these are all the other ones that still need to be made but I ran out of like the little clear plastic covering so let's do that this one messed up again so i'm just going to not worry about making a bigger milk pin and then i did another dill frog now or i filmed the tiktok and that came out but obviously there's no pla plastic like covering over it because totally messed that up too it came off but this would be one i could sell like discounted or something like that but at least the TikTok came out pretty good. I'll just call it a button pin making fail. So now I'm going to cut out all the backing cards. So let's get to that. <laughs> everyone so i know i need to be working on stuff for the craft fair but my room is a hot mess so i've been cleaning that up before i work on stuff just because it will give me a bit of a peace of mind right now i just did this bookshelf you can see right next to me 
which I'll show you guys a better view of that. And I also made my bed, so. Or I changed like my sheets because I got new ones and I cleaned them and everything. So put those on. So I'll show you guys what I've done so far. And once I'm satisfied with cleaning up my room, I'll get to work with some plushies. So let's go. All right. Okay. So here's my bookshelf or fixed up. There's all of my Monster High dolls I had when I was younger that my mom had found one day while going through the basement. So we put them all up here. All of my art books and stuff like that. All of my comic books. Just some regular books and then just like some random things. There's a pile of clothes that need to be put away. As well as a pile of sheets I need to wash. But got all of that organized. And then, quickly, I also changed my bed sheets. Even though it looks like a hot mess right now. I have a bunch of plushies everywhere. And some more clothes that need to be put away. But I'm going to do that. Put away some other junk that I have lying around. And then, like I said, I want to get to work on plushies because I need to get that done. Also, this isn't important, but I also want to reorganize this little wall grid thing I have in my room. But I think that is a project for another day, probably after the craft fair. And another thing I need to do after the craft fair is go through all of my clothes because there's a lot I don't wear and just need to get rid of them and clear out my closet but let me get to work cleaning so wish me luck and I'll be back when I'm sewing so bye I thought I'd show you guys a, um, a little casualty of cleaning I was getting this ornament out of the box and I thought I could hang it up on my little wall grid thing and he slipped out and lost a foot in his head and I found his foot somewhere in there and I can't find his head anymore and now I don't know what to do so <sighs> all right everyone so I'm taking a break from cleaning up and organizing my room there's just like some random things need to be put away or just need to be taken to the thrift store so I'll just worry about that later for now I'm going to sew all of these finished plushies need their little pearl necklaces which I forgot about you need to finish up these little frog keychains there's three of them one has chocolate chip cookie which needs the chips there's another one that has an ice cream cone and then the knife and then I have like my beads set up and then just like some thread and some other stuff needs to be cut out and put together so I'm gonna work on that and then here is the other or my bag full of plushies that need to be done so I need to work on all of those and then here's the bag of finished plushies that need to be done or like or they don't need to be done they're finished obviously I don't know why I said that but these are the finished plushies actually the only things they'll need are tags to be made so I'll need to like some already have like tags printed like this Bonto and stuff but I'll need to keep track of that and get those made and printed out so that's what I'm going to be working on for a little bit so and I won't film any of that just because I'm sitting at my bed because I don't feel like moving over to the dining room table and getting all that set up. And all I will be doing is sewing what you guys have seen before many, many times. So I want to do that. Actually, I take back what I said. Um, I wanted to show you guys the comics I got yesterday because yesterday was free comic book day. So at the my local comic book shop, you were able to get three. I don't know if that's like standard for other places or not because this is my first time ever going to a free comic book day. So I got Spider-Man Venom, Donna DC, The Night Terrors, and Marvel Voices. And then they had trivia, like um, one of the members would like go around and ask you a like trivia question. And I got one right. It, the question I got right was what was the first appearance of Spider-Man? comics and it was the amazing fantasy comics amazing fantasy comics which i found was pretty funny because that was the um first coffee and crate video i did i took that iconic comic book cover and turned it into the welcome page for my sketchbook so i thought that was funny that that was the question i got right and this was this is what i got for winning the trivia night fever comic book this actually isn't even out yet i think it comes out next month and apparently this i don't know if they're changing the 
cover or not for this but I thought that was pretty cool so I get to read this it sounds really interesting and yeah I had fun at the free comic book day yesterday I also got two bundled sets of comics because they were buy one get one free and then I got a Batman comic the 135 which just came out and then I also got a Walking Dead comic which that was a bit of an impulse buy because they're really like re-releasing like the Walking Dead comics in cover or in color and one of the covers had Michonne on it and she looked awesome and she's my favorite character so I had to get it so now that I've told you guys about that now I'm going to start sewing I swear I think the first thing I'm gonna do is put all these little guys together because I just need to sew them together and touch them to the keychains and that's glue on my hand by the way so I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna finish up all of these bats and now let me get to work so see you guys later all right everyone you made it to the end of the studio vlog congratulations um thank you guys so much for watching this video and i hope you enjoyed it